what is going on guys we are back for some more dsp stories and today we got some weird and wacky stories for you first off it is almost the three year anniversary of dsp getting kicked out of the twitch partnership we have this from duty on april 21st 2021 during his live stream of dragon rampa phil was removed from the twitch partner program it's been three years and Kat is still downstairs literally crying. Being said, I just took a brief break and I went downstairs and talked with my wife. By the way, Motopox tipped me $1.30 and said Twitch should have given you a warning, right? I mean, you think they should have. This Since I've never done a violation of their terms of service of the partnership program ever before, you would think that they would have said, oh, you know, here's what's going on. Don't ever do that again. That's what they did four years ago. They gave me a warning and said, don't talk about bits in any kind of a financial capacity. So I never did ever again. Okay. Um, so I honestly don't know. Okay. So I went downstairs and I, sp I spoke with my wife, by the way, Kat is completely upset. She's crying. I don't blame her. I'm tired of this abuse. I'm tired of being the guy who gets beat up. I'm tired of the guy. There's people on this site right now on Twitch. All right. They are doing gross stuff. They are doing sexualized stuff. They are preying on their audience. They are doing messed up stuff right now. They are in the partnership program, but I'm not. This shows you how much of a horrible husband he is. He goes downstairs, his wife is crying, and what does he do? He goes back to the stream to complain that she's crying. Now, any reasonable husband would console her, make her feel better. Are you okay? Let me get you something. You know, be an actual good human being, but not dark side Phil. Then, just like everything else, DSP eventually retconned stuff, this time, the vest streak. He was saying how he was glad it was over, it was ruining his streams, you know, those tens of thousands of dollars that he kept getting. And then he kept saying how people made it all about the money, and if we're going to make the, the vest goal and the streak, and are we going to make the streak? Is the streak going to continue? Then he was saying that it was pissing him off, so he was glad it was over. Even though, every single time, every single stream, he would go, Come on guys, we can't let the streak end. Come on guys, let's get the streak going. Even on the last stream for the vest streak, Paper Mario by the way, Nintendo's a detractor dude, he left the stream on extra long, just in case someone wanted to tip and keep the streak alive. Now keep in mind as well, there was one day during the vest streak that he miscounted. And that day, he should have actually lost the streak. But because Phil wanted to continue it, he actually put more money on the leaderboard than he should have, and then tried to continue the vest streak. And we have this from JG Win. Is this a recon for the vest streak? He acts like he didn't appreciate the tens of thousands of dollars he got from it was just a bother to him. Forget the fact that when he wasn't close to the goal, he would say, "Oh guys, it'd be nice if we hit it, but if it ends, it's okay." And David Davidson, the vest streak was now a bad thing because it derailed the streams too much. So bad, we stalled out the last day to hope someone bailed it out. And Poems Future puts this beautifully together. What the vest represented in 2020, while the money was still rolling in. And this, uh, this vest is now a symbol of all of us who never give up, who basically say no matter what gets thrown against us in life, we're gonna persevere through it. We're gonna say fuck you to the haters and we're gonna be successful no matter what. That's what this has become. That every day now, it's another win against those shitheads who every day tell us we can't do something, we're not good enough, we're just scum. For what? What do we do? That we deserve that? Nothing. But this is what they are. They're just crazy people and they will always try to tear you down. In life, there's always going to be people trying to tear you down. And this vest has become a, a, a ridiculous, I know it's as stupid as it sounds, as crazy as it sounds, but that's what it is. This is a symbol of persevering through all kinds of adversity, through all kinds of challenges in a way being able to to, to to do this symbol, to have this symbol stand for something is, is pretty cool and motivating. That like, damn, you know, I've done this for 12 years and finally there's something that's come up that, that people thought of and now they're supporting it constantly. It's just crazy, you know? It is, it's crazy. But it's super positive. Especially the fact that there's so many people that claim that I'm the worst person on the internet, right? But it seems to me like that's changing. And so this vest is a symbol of that positivity. It's a symbol that together we can have fun as long as we stay positive and we can overcome anything together. I firmly believe at this point in my life, all right, that no matter what comes my way, that we can work together to overcome it. It's become a symbol 
a symbol of positivity, a symbol of ongoing success. Like, that's what this is now. This is a symbol that it shows overcoming adversity, you know, standing up for what you believe in, sticking to your guns, never giving up when all, so many things are going wrong for you, just staying the course and working your ass off and that it can pay off. I think that's what this is. This These vests are symbolizing that on a daily basis, you know, at least for me, that's how I feel. It's a symbol. This vest has become a symbol of people who actually like me and like my content and want to show overwhelming support because they know that the last several months of my life were incredibly uh, over the top stressful through what I was going through with that bankruptcy. <clears throat> they know that the trolls, what they did to me, what they were trying to do to me. And I think in a lot of ways, because the trolls went way too fucking far with what they were doing, it actually polarized the audience. There were some people who were like, you know, I don't really like Phil and his content, but this is going too far, trying to ruin his fucking life with the things that these people do to him. And I think what happened is now, people are realizing, if you just don't like him, that's fine, don't watch his content. But what's happened is you've now lit a fire under the ass of people who really like my stuff, and they're like, enough is enough. We're gonna support Phil. We know it irks those people who hate him when he's successful. So that's why you're seeing 108 vest streak success, and everything is so positive around the streams recently. And they cannot, Stand it. <clears throat> they cannot fucking stand it that there's success. DSP then went on to say the streams are not about playing dress up. They're not about the goals. They're about supporting him because they like him and his content. And then you talk about how the vest, the hat, everything is so stupid and doesn't matter. And that his streams are not about money. His streams are not about the vest or a hat. It's about coming together as a community. And then, of course, DSV had to attack other content creators like Dr. Disrespect. So we got this from Good Chemicals. DSP criticizes streamers who have support goals tied to play and dress up. And then we see Phil dressed up as Colonel Sanders, Karen slash Ken Street Fighter, Sonic, and Yoshi. Then DSP decided to have a toxic moment with his audience. We have In and Out of Place. Stop making it all about yourself, Drew Corporation. The normal toxic reply you get from DSP when you call him out on the truth. So DSP attacked Dragon's Dogma, called it dog shit for the way it looks. And Drew says here, DSP said today that DD2 looked horrible and was dog shit. I said when he played it, it looked pretty good and people were complaining. He said I was putting words in his mouth, I wasn't. But there is little proof of him and what he has said on his own channel. It drives me nuts that he talked to me that way. Could another pay pig be on the way out? Then he went on a huge rant about the PS5 Pro and Nintendo and games like Fortnite, how people are supporting the dumbest things, which is ruining the games industry. My God, he went on a huge rant here. Poems, stop watching keep, uh, oh, hold on, wrong script. Here we are, stop buying useless products. We have to stop this fucking madness. This this whole story, I'm reading this, I'm like, and there's people freaking out. This is great. I can't wait to buy a PS5 Pro. I'm going to get this like, you are you stupid? You already have the box that does it. And it doesn't do it. Because the game devs didn't make it yet. Why the fuck do you want another console? I just, really, I mean, what the fuck? What is wrong with people? What is with this? We absolutely must own every piece of technology, even if it doesn't do anything new. Every year I must go out and buy the new iPhone, despite the fact nothing new is added to it. I'm just an idiot. I gotta go buy the new console from fucking Nintendo. I gotta buy the new controller. I gotta buy the new... Stop. Your behaviors make this possible. Your behaviors of spending on shit that you don't need, that doesn't do anything, make these companies pump out all this bullshit. This console not only is not needed, it does absolutely nothing to help the games industry. You're not going to see revolutionary new performance of games on a PS5 Pro. No one's utilizing base PS5 yet. So stop asking for more and stop buying more. Your stupid actions directly finance more stupid actions from these game companies. You will never see a good looking Pokemon until you stop buying the Pokemon that looks like shit. All right? You will not see companies stop trying to take advantage of consumers until the consumers get wise and stop get taking advantage of. It's just, I, I can't believe it. I, I, I'm reading the story. 
and you could just look in the comments and everyone's ha 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 this is great news like ha 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 you're all fucking dumb every one of you then for the second time this year one minute man did not show up my whole theory is that planet jeff stopped tipping between late last year early this year and then there's a group of whales that are working together to keep the persona of one minute man alive they take turns and rotate who tips when at first it was game cucker when he did the rpgs to give him tips and whatnot then i think someone else is going to pick up the mantle of one minute man but the question is who it is and today one minute man was mia and we have will here dsp exposes he memorizes your personal information today and then tries to immediately backtrack after chat let him know he messed up so what happened was there was a fake one minute man tip immediately phil says this is not the real one minute man doesn't have the same information and he was talking about how he sees people's information and it doesn't match one minute man's regular information so remember when he said i don't see any information i don't know who tips me he just admitted that he does get personal information and i made a joke in the last video i said oh he admitted to his gambling addiction racism his audience being dense and wheelchairs he admitted to being handheld i jokingly said i wonder what he's going to admit to next well it looks like he has admitted he can see your personal paypal information and before this he was freaking out because there was no one minute man tip i got poems it's perfectly fine if one minute man doesn't tip every day but if he doesn't dsp is willing to derail his entire stream to check on why he hasn't yet all right um all right so i'm checking and just so you know guys know i am checking uh you know because typically by now like one minute man would have tipped and it's not there and i'm wondering if there's a delay or something i'm just gonna double check it's perfectly fine if one minute man did not contribute today or is you know not contributing right away you know but typically he does during this podcast so i just want to be sure that i'm not missing out on his on a shout out for him because i don't know what's going on with that check sometimes i check and then it's like oh yeah you just didn't get the email to tell you there was a contribution so let me double check it But again, if there's no contribution, that's also perfectly fine. He doesn't have to contribute every day. Okay, yeah, so far nothing today. So, there you go. I didn't miss it. There actually is nothing today as of now. Okay, good. At least I didn't miss it. It makes me nervous. That something's going wrong and you know i hate when i don't get notified so there you go okay no problem all right uh then we have this freeze frame dsp's actual expression the moment he realized one minute man really hadn't sent a tip today then we have this from meow blocked i can't see any of your information when you send me money anyone that says otherwise is a liar and a troll don't believe them. I received a very generous tip. I can, only I could look at it. Well, here's the thing. I received a $25 tip from someone who says that they are a one minute man. But I know for a fact they're not one minute man. <laughs> As you know, there's various things that I can see. Like email addresses and stuff. And plus, in particular, this person didn't even spell One Minute Man correctly. So I know it's not One Minute Man. It's someone trying to pretend like they're One Minute Man, though. But they're not. But it is a $25 tip. So thank you very much. Then he went to talk on yet again about the Fallout TV show. So DSP decided to retcon his own retcon of his review on Fallout. How it was canon, not canon, canon. From Gout Gout. Listen to the last few days versus today. DSP changed his opinion on Fallout TV show from It's great. It's canon to Ton Howard is an idiot and Fallout TV isn't canon. It was a tweet made about a day ago on Twitter. And I didn't even know it existed. And then all of a sudden it showed up in my timeline as I was looking at Fallout stuff. Someone, I don't know who they are. They made a tweet and they were like, 
So Bethesda undid the lore of Fallout New Vegas for their new show, which by the way, they didn't. It's obvious the person didn't even watch the fucking show. They said they undid the lore of Fallout New Vegas for their new show. Yeah, and this is an awful thing they did, but uh, but the show's ultra popular. So Bethesda is like the DSP of gaming because they just keep making the worst possible decisions, yet they continue to exist and, and be successful. You can absolutely tell that there is love and attention given to the show to make it have references to the games if you love the games. That's awesome. You understand? Like, that's instead of, oh, well, we have source material. We're just going to bastardize the fuck out of all of it to make a show because, you know, it's Hollywood and that's what we do. We just change it to be our own. I mean, they did change some things to make it their own, but it doesn't ruin the spirit of the source material. In fact, it, it expands upon it. And one thing I will say, man, what did they do in such a big deal that made it good? They didn't just take the story of Fallout 3 or Fallout New Vegas or Fallout 4 or Fallout 76 or Fallout 1 or 2 for that matter and just turn it into a TV show. It's its own story. And because it's its own story with its own original characters, you can't be upset that they ruined your favorite character from something else. You see, interviewed and he said the Fallout TV show will be canon to the game show or to the games. Immediately as the, the, it starts, it's not canon. <laughs> It, or, or it's changing all of the lore. So it's like, so either it's canon or it's not. If it is, you're literally changing the entire world you already built in the games. So what is it, right? I like to think Todd Howard's an idiot, because he is. He literally just talks out of his asshole constantly just to get people excited about stuff. He lies constantly. He really is. He's, a, he's known to being an infamous liar. I don't think this show is canon to the games at all. I think it's its own universe. It's similar to the games, and it has some characters that cross over and stuff, but I don't think it's the game universe. I want to say it's like its own cinematic style universe, right? Much like how Marvel has their cinematic universe and their comic book universe, and they're separate, but kind of the same, right? So that's what I think anyway, and we'll, we can talk about that for sure. Um, it doesn't make sense how it could be canon and then immediately changes everything. So we'll talk about that tomorrow, but anyway. Um, people are freaking out about this. So I think this could be a great uh, d discussion that we can have tomorrow night on the stream. You know, what's better? And we have this from Theo. Fallout TV show gets called out for retcon in lore and uses DSP to dunk on it. DSP, this dumbass of the TV series retcon Fallout. It didn't, dude. Finish watching the TV show, DSP. It did retcon the lore, dude. Then he played the Herald game. My god, it sucked like ass. Of course, he had the anonymous tips all day. So if you want to see how he did for the Herald game, this is how it went. Basically, the po I, I, like, what is the point? They're underwater. They're, they're never really going to ski. So literally, he has the most pointless thing possible in an underwater base. You would never need this kind of clothing ever, right? Like, what would you ever need it for? Yeah, I guess the only reason you would shop here is to show you have money to, to blow, right? It's kind of like people today who wear a fancy watch. It's like, why do you wear a watch? There's no point. Everyone has a phone that has the, the clock on it now. So no one would ever need a watch ever. But if someone has a fancy watch, like they're wearing a Rolex or something, it's like, oh, I see. You're rich. I have, a, I have a Movado watch. Oh, you see, you just blow your money on stuff, right? Why the hell would anyone grab a business card? My watch which I bought last year for a very big discount. No, I would never, ever, ever buy a Movado watch full price. I guess I'll show it to you to show you what it looks like if I can get out of the box. Here, you look at my business card. <laughs> Extreme close-up of my business card while I try to open this box. There we go. Son of a bitch. Come on, camera. Maybe if I zoom in. Aha, uh -huh. oh, too far. It's a nice red face, metallic hands, they actually glow in the dark. I like it a lot, but I rarely wear it, and here's why. My arm, especially during the summer, sweats a lot, and it sticks to my arm. It's very, very annoying. I got another watch out here, um, another business card holder. This is the one I actually took with me to E3 to hand. Then we get to Street Fighter VI. The uh, anonymous tips kept coming in. Obviously, he had a whale lined up, or someone got their tax return today. 
As the LARP in turns, we'll continue after these messages. It looks like I received another $25 tip. I just don't put be an asshole, put on the entire thing. As I've said, number one, not being an asshole, all right? I'm playing Street Fighter, I'm just trying to get warmed up. I'm trying to get back into the character. The first thing I should do is not slap on a bunch of clothes that are gonna make me fucking sweat when I'm already at a very high, uh, you know, adrenaline level. I can tell you right now, I already feel sweaty and I'm just sitting here with absolutely nothing on whatsoever. All right, so saying to put ghetto attire on, call me an asshole, probably not the right way to get what you want. I'm just saying I'm appreciative of support. I'm not appreciative of people trying to be a jerk to me because they are supporting. So yeah, you probably want to tone it down a bit. And like I said, I probably would put a hat on or something later, but I want to get into the game first. Listen here, motherfucker. They paid you to put on the clothes. You put it on like the reverse thought that you are. And we have this from Broside Phil. He is Shodiner's dipshit. If he beats you, it's talent. If you beat him, you have no life. He doesn't want sponsors so he can stay small. He can't get big because he can't get sponsors. People won't give him a chance and that's unfair. He doesn't care what people think. And this is something DSP said last night. Being able to beat Phil easily in Street Fighter 6 makes you a loser because all you do is play the game 24 7 now keep in mind this stream and the previous street fighter 6 stream all he played was casual matches he refused to play rank matches then we get some footage of how it went down how salty he got last night from a mirrored entity this jp has been fucking with phil all night he got dsp thinking drive rush literally stops the game this is just like king of fighters when he found out people understood how to use the meter better than him, and suddenly, the game was bad. What? Explain what just happened there. He jumped, I did an anti-air. His thing exploded, he drive rushed, the screen froze. And then everything just hit me at once. Nothing was timed to hit me. It all just hit me at once because the screen froze as he drive rushed, right? <laughs> it doesn't even make sense. Like, what, what people have figured out, I feel, is when you dry rush at certain times, it freezes the game, and then shit will just hit you for no reason. Yeah, so the thing it is, because people have been complaining since the game came out that basically drive rush eats inputs. I think drive rush fucks the game up in certain situations. Like if there's other things going on on the screen at the same time, I think it literally fucks the whole game up. It doesn't make sense that someone does a drive rush and you can't block on reaction or you're doing a move and it just nothing happens at all. I really believe that that's, it, they fucked it up. Like drive rush, I like the game mechanic, but they've got to fix it. It feels like it's broken as fuck at this point. There's people who just have setups. Oh, I'm just going to do as much as I possibly throw on the screen and then do a drive rush and everything you've input dropped so you can't fucking even block. And then this douchebag kept tipping Phil $25 to tell him to keep putting on the clothes. And it's Poe's future. Yep, this is a pre-arranged night. He's refusing to wear his silly gimmicks and getting upset when he's told he's forgiven them. Yeah, he got $240 in anonymous tips. This was definitely set up. Excuse me, I just received a $25 tip. Put on the ghetto attire? What does that even mean? What is ghetto attire? I don't have any ghetto attire. And that's probably considered insulting as well. <laughs> that's probably considered a big insult, honestly. So, no. <laughs> Maybe I'll put something on later, like I said, but I need to get into the groove of things with Blanca before we consider a hat or a vest or anything like that. So thank you for the contribution. No, I didn't forget anything. Stop fucking saying that in chat. You're pissing me off. I'm trying to play the game and get into the groove of Street Fighter with Blanca in tough master level matches. I don't want to hear... Then... As he was signing off, he got all his money to pull for the Hulk Hogan dick pic fund. Draped in his finest grandma hat, he had a message for the trolls. So we have Woe Mo's ass. What exactly are you adding to the planet, DSP? Besides making your supporters file bankruptcy three times, hey Timbo, live in their car, I think that's that brother Sean guy, and give you the whole disability checks every month, that could be any of them, or all of them. 
because you feign distress about not having money? Playing games on stream doesn't help the planet. A lot of dumbass trolls here tonight. It's weird, we haven't really had a lot of trolls for fighting games in a very long time. And then a shitload showed up tonight. I don't know why. But, you know, they're all morons. I don't have anything to add to the planet. So they just fucking sit here saying dumb shit in the chat and I ignored them the whole time. <laughs> so that was an interesting day. If you guys like that, click that like. Share the video. Leave a comment below. Hit subscribe. Subscribe to my other channels on the details of the end cards. And as always, I love each and every one of you. Hope you're all safe, healthy, and happy. Peace and love.